be content uh, at all as far as, you know, the way we play. We always want to progress and get better. But um, I think it's at a good spot. JT, I, you know more football than I do. So please correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like the things that's lacking right now may be the big play. Um, am, I, am I wrong about that? Um, I don't know. So you say lacking, it's almost like we can't produce it, where I tried to express after the game that they're playing off. So it's hard to run past people if they're 10 yards off of you. So they're 10 yards off of you at the beginning of the snap or before the snap, then when the snap happens, they back up even further. So you can't, you can't, get, you can't beat them. Now I know we missed one shot. I missed it. Uh, to James on the third down as I need as far as the ball placement. But um, that's the thing that's happening this year is like they're not, it's not like they're packing the box like they did last year with Zeke and they was like, make us throw it. Whereas this year it's like, okay, we, we see y'all have weapons, so we're going to back off and make y'all, you know, nickel and diamonds down the field. And that's what we've been able to do. How do you strike the balance between Giving, taking what the defense gives you and imposing your will? Um, as far as passing, I think um, I think the, when it comes to passing, it comes to a point where uh, you don't want to force things. There, there's times where you force things, but a lot of times when we, uh, you know, when it's play action pass, first and 10, there's no need to force anything. It's first and 10, you can check it down and let our playmakers go make plays and break tackles and make them tackle us. Um, so I think it's, I mean, it's a little bit of both. I think in the run game, that's where you try to, you know, we're going to run the ball. That's what we do. I think that's part of it. But as far as in the passing game, especially the situations, even third down, we really don't have to force it. We have a really good punt team. We're going to punt the ball. We're going to punt. We have a good defense. So. Uh, we're going to go play defense, so I don't think there's any forcing the ball on in the passing game. Have you guys been improving throughout the year or improving in fits and starts, if you know what I mean? Uh, when you say fits and starts, what do you mean? Uh, th there'll be a period of improvement and then maybe a step back and then a period of improvement and then a step back. Which one has it been, a, a steady progress or something that's happened one step forward, one step back, one step forward? I think there's always kind of a, a growth more uphill. Um, I don't think there's been any regress by any means. So um, I think at times, it, so when I say that, I mean, even when it looks bad, you probably be like, man, I'm kind of stepping back where there's 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 a need for that to push through those things. Because very time it's easy, then when something hits you hard later on in the season, you're not going to know how to handle it. So with that, I think um, the things that even at times where it looks bad, I think that's all been uh, accepted in a positive way and more of the grow as a team. JT, uh, Urban's mentioned um, Ben Victor a few times this year, most recently yesterday or a few hours ago. Um, what is it that he's doing well in practice? And he said he's inching closer and six foot five body. I mean, what are you seeing from that freshman receiver and how close do you think he is to being a, a productive player? Um, I think he's close. Coach, you know what I mean? We see him make plays in practice. That's how it works. You got to make plays in practice in order to play on the field. And um, I think he's starting to do that. He's starting making plays, understanding um, zones and different concepts, spacing. I think that's something different too, is spacing as a receiver, because uh, that's what the passing game is spacing and timing. So those are things that he's getting a uh, grasp of. So I think he's close as well. JT, are, JT, you, what, are you and what? James Clark hooking up? Uh, you and James Clark and you and Terry McLaurin, are y'all hooking up in practice? On a regular basis, uh, when y'all do throw the ball down the field and stuff, uh, just give me an update on that. I mean, because obviously in the game you've tried to hit James a couple of times on deep routes and they didn't work out for one reason or another. But right. I guess are you seeing things in practice that aren't translating to the game yet? Um, I mean, yeah, I think that's part of it. I think that when we go against our defense, our defense makes you throw it deep. They're mm -hmm. like, we're challenging every throw, so you have to throw it at the top. So in practice, we do complete them, but in the game, it's kind of one of those rare situations where it only happens every now and then where with our defense, it's almost you know, every three plays yeah. you got to. So um, with that, um, 
practice, we have more opportunities to complete them, and so that's what we do. But then in the game, you have those one or two times, uh, and we just haven't hit them. Yeah, Coach Marsh says, though, he sees that coming. He th